Hi, everyone. Welcome to Mermaid Radio. You are listening to this week's Universal Energy Reading using the 16 Kauri and the Veve Prophecy Cards. I am Mamiola Funke. This reading is in effect from today, Monday, May 11th through Sunday, May 17th, 2020. Let's get started. The Universal Energy Reading for the planet this week sees five Kauri on the mat and tambours, a shoe, and the Veve prophecy cards. This reading says Earth Mother is joyous. She's joyous because there are more people getting initiated. And this means that there are more people to help Earth Mother pray for her safety and sanctity. There are more people to do ritual to Earth Mother and uh, give Earth Mother strength and support as she journeys through space and time with us riding her. Sees eight Kauri on the mat and Yemoja Oloku in the Veve prophecy cards. Here, people have ways that they want to live, plans, ideas. And then there is the secrets of motherhood. And these are carried out by teaching women, the governess, the one who comes to make sure the children have the teachings that they need so that they can grow into whole adults. Maybe you are one of these people. Please gather all the information you can to teach the children properly and teach everybody properly because so many of us have a, a less than whole education. So many of us need more information. So we have to make sure that we can show people ideas that they can use to make themselves better human beings. Ashe. The universal energy reading for love this week sees Ten Kauri on the mat and Agbao Rung Osayen and the Veve Prophecy cards. Here we have regret, um, we're crying over spilled milk, which is something we shouldn't do because as we cry, we pray. And it seems like the same situation comes back to us. The same situation comes back. The more we complain about it, the more we seem to see it. So if we want something new and better, we have to ask for it. If we want a new and better mate, if we want a new and better life situation, to move to a, a, a nicer location, to just be able to feed our children healthy and wholesome meals. We have to pray for what we want instead of complaining about what we don't have and what can't happen and what is not possible. These things tend to come back to us as we speak about it. Also in 10 Kauris and Agbao Rung Osayen, we see addiction. People are addicted to substances and people are addicted to situations. You tend to call the same thing to yourself over and over and you don't get off of that until you change your mind and change your perspective. Uh, you have to remove the idea that something is permanent, that once you see it, you can't unsee it. You might not be able to unsee it, but you can definitely write over it like in a computer. If you don't like the screen that's on the desktop, you don't really get rid of the screen on the desktop. You just have to override it with a new screen. So that's the same thing in life. Uh, we are, the computer is mocking us. So what the computer does, that's what we do. We have to recall information. And as we recall, we're buffering and buffering. <laughs> so thinking about what we're trying to recall so we have to stop crying over spilled milk and remember that our life situations are usually part of a cycle that we are, for lack of a better word, addicted to. So somewhere you have to stop if it's not good for you. And if you find habits that are really good for you, uh, addictions that are good for you, then you just practice away. Uh, you just involve yourself away. If you're addicted to praying each morning, if you're addicted to doing your rituals and holding your head for your ori and honoring your ancestors and that those kinds of habits or addictions or compulsory behaviors are what we want. Ashe. The universal energy reading for money this week sees eight cowrie on the mat 
and Osayan Olokun in the Veve Prophecy cards. Here we we will be successful in our plans and in our money relationship to money where we are virtuous, where we carry ourselves in a way that is honorable, upright, and respectable. We do really here need to practice wholesome behaviors. Eight carries calls on divine character. It's the best reading you can get so that if you work hard, if you attempt to work hard, you will get what you're looking for. Ashe. The universal energy reading for health and well-being this week sees five kauri on the mat and Ogun Azaka in the Veve Prophecy cards. Here is blood issues. Um, we need to be really careful of our blood, protect it. The things that are transferable by blood are what we need to be aware of, like getting stuck by a needle in, in, in the in the you know street or at the doctor's office that has been used by someone else or eating too much sweets and poisoning our blood with sugar we have to and because we have slowness in the very prophecy cards i would say uh, it should really be more about the diabetes because it's it creeps up on you and then once it takes hold it slows down your blood it thickens your blood so it's slow so we have to really eat right, not engage in too much sugar consumption. You need, if you're going to eat sugars, eat sugars that, that are natural and processed naturally, like honey. I don't really know about agave. I don't know about stevia. I'm not sure about those substances. I, I don't have any experience with it. But you have to really eat right. Mind your sugar consumption this week. Ashe. The universal energy reading for spiritual development this week sees nine Kari on the mat. Ezili Oshun Aizan in the Veve Prophecy cards. As a group, overall, we should be comfortable with one another and serene and calm. People who are aggressive and behaving aggressively should be asked to calm down. Because now is a time of coolness, of serenity, facing reality. Be good to one another in your, in your communities, in your neighborhood, so that goodness can come to you. That people won't speak badly about you or worse, try to work negative magic against you. Although this is not a year for working negative magic. As an individual, especially as a group where there's more than one person trying to enact negativity against another person, it's really dangerous for those people. So I would stay away from any behaviors like that. But still, we have to be good to each other so that people don't get mad and whisper things under their breath about us. That's, it, it's not going to be good for us. Uh, Shay. This has been Mami Olufunke's Universal Energy Reading. I thank you for joining me this week. If you like this information and find it useful, please like, subscribe, add notifications to know when the next video is available. Have a great week, everyone. Odabo.